Hi, I'm Jessica Besson, Mercer County Extension Agent for Horticulture. I'm here in my own backyard today and I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to control those ferocious Japanese beetles. One of the first things you can do is cover any valuable plants. Use a fine netting upon seeing your first Japanese beetle. Cover your plants until the beetles are no longer active and make sure you remove the netting right away. If you have other valuable plants, you may want to go ahead and cut the flowers and bring them inside for your enjoyment. The next thing you can do is go out in the early morning or in the evening and knock the Japanese beetles in a cup of soapy water. This will help reduce pest populations. As the Japanese beetles feed, plants tend to release a volatile that just attracts more beetles. So by knocking them in the water and getting the numbers down will reduce the amount of beetles coming into your yard. If you choose to use an insecticide, we have both organic and conventional ones available. Keep in mind that most of these insecticides are extremely harmful to pollinators, so you want to read the label every time before using to treat. If you'd like more information on the types of insecticides that work well against Japanese beetles, please give us a call at the Mercer County Extension Office. And finally, the University of Kentucky has done extensive research on the Japanese beetle traps. These traps consist of two pheromones that lure both the male and females in. While you may get bags upon bags of Japanese beetles each day, you are just bringing more into your yard. And studies have shown that you will just see increased damage because you're drawing all the Japanese beetles into your yard. So your neighbors will be extremely happy if you have one of those set out. So we don't recommend to use one of those Japanese beetle bags.